Okay, so we heard that you're developing a new game, sci-fi game, for yes. mobile devices. So can you tell us more about it? Uh, sure. Well, um, the kind of, well, I'll tell you a little bit about the company and, and sort of what our goals are. We, we don't have too much to say about the game yet, yeah. um, but uh, the company's called Industrial Toys, yeah. and we've been going uh, since February, so for a few months. And uh, the idea is uh, to make uh, mobile games for core gamers. So, you know, over the last year or so, obviously mobile's a, a very uh, hot market right now. A lot of people are starting to make mobile games. And pretty much everybody I know is making mobile games right now. Um, but uh, there aren't a ton of games for, um, for me. <laughs> um, and, and that's kind of... The, the motivation for what we're doing is to is to make uh, games for the core gamer for uh, that have you know a lot of depth, story, production yeah. value, that kind of thing. So um, the team is made up pretty much half of us are folks that uh, have all worked together for you know 10, 20 years. Um, so there's a, a few few other folks from Bungie uh, on the team and uh, sort of various shared tasks. And the other half are are uh, uh, a new uh, a kid's new to the industry, just getting out of school, was very talented, very motivated, but young, you know, and uh, it's a great mix that we have in the, uh, in the studio. So the, the, an obvious um, uh, area of focus or project for us is, uh, is to, to uh, try and uh, really innovate and do something new with, uh, with a shooter, which is what we're doing. So the, the ambition... But is uh, is big, you know. We're 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 trying to kind of reinvent what a, a shooter could be uh, from the perspective of mobile and touch input. Um, so much like the sort of the care that we brought to figuring out how controls would work on a console with with dual sticks, yeah. we're we're um, very much uh, uh, prototyping and working against how controls for a shooter should work when you have touch input. Um, and once once uh, once you start doing that, once we started working on uh, uh, how those controls would work, it exposed a lot of other ideas and systems and things for us to to try and do a little differently. Which um, for me is a big part of what's very exciting about um, mobile, and not just not just for uh, folks who are making games on mobile, but just for the game industry in general. Is that we now have a an area of the market where uh, a small team can come together with, without having to invest a, a, a crazy amount of money yeah. um, and can do try to do something new. There's there's a lot of game genres that have not been tackled on mobile yet. There's, there's a lot of genres that are going to get invented at some point as well that we haven't seen yet. So there's a lot of open open space to be innovative and the barrier is pretty low. So there's, there's a lot of cool stuff going on and you know hopefully uh, uh, people will like what we're doing. But the uh, that's 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 our that's our goal. We're we're we are trying to reinvent what how a shooter can work on, yeah. on mobile. In terms of designing the game, the game is for mobile devices. Uh, the decision of playtime, you know, the time that you play, it's short. So translating that to the hardcore game, how can you do? It? Oh well, so um, so creating a hardcore experience, yeah. But with it. So, so the that, that's a that's a great point, and that's actually one of the things that we've been designing around is uh, is trying to figure out what the right game structure is, yeah. and uh, the the way we're building it is is not like you would build a traditional sort of console game, which is is built around the I, uh, idea of levels, which in a level would be you know thirty plus minutes of, of play, a focused play. We're building um, the game around uh, encounters which uh, are sort of the discrete um, combat sections uh, of the game. Uh, and we build the uh, entry and exit points and, and replay points around those encounters. So an, an encounter might be the size of a room like this where there's a few, few different uh, um, AIs and bad guys that you, you would go into and try to figure out how to, how to uh, be successful in that encounter. Um, but that you can drop in and out of that uh, at, at that basis, as, as opposed to invest, having to invest, uh, you know, 30, 60 minutes at, at a time. If you want to keep going, you, you know, you just you just keep going. It's very seamless. But um, the, the point is that the structure of the game is built around the, how people use the device, like you were saying. Okay. How can you convince the hardcore players to leave the bad side and pick up the mod? I think that's 
I, maybe you know, the most I, difficult thing to, to achieve. May, may, maybe. I th- I, honestly, I really think it's about the content because um, cor- you know, gamers have mobile phones. They have iPads. They have uh, handsets. And they like to play games on them. They just, yeah. I think, are just dissatisfied that the games are not very good. <laughs> and you know, there there are there are some good. There are definitely some good games, but the the at least the, I don't know if you played any of the shooters yeah. that are on the phone. But a lot of them are, are ports from console, and a lot of them use these virtual joysticks, yeah. which is bad, a horrible design. I mean, like those, yeah, those, like, yeah the, the the amount of work that went into making joysticks. Successful as a uh, as a uh, shooter control yeah. was was a lot, and to try and like estimate that on a on a device where you could touch you could touch whatever pixel you want on that thing. Yeah. You know, you don't need a joystick. Yeah, it's, it's, it makes no sense, no sense. So, you know, I think once once uh, once you start seeing games that are sort of born and built and uh, iterated on, on on that device, you know, from the ground up. We'll, we'll start seeing uh, experiences and games that gamers can really get into. Okay. Uh, so, well, your first game, uh, we know that you're making it with Unreal the yeah. engine. Yeah. So why Unreal and not Unity or making your own engine? Uh, uh, well, so, <coughs> pretty pretty simple. I mean, it was, it was actually, we agonized over uh, what uh, technology we were going to build around whether it's also going to be our own Unity or, or Unreal. We agonized over that for a long time, but it, it's very it's actually it's quite simple. Um, Unreal is the best looking uh, uh, tech on, on mobile, uh, far and away, and we're going to make the best looking game possible. Um, so we, we, we really want to, wanted to use the engine for that reason. And if you look at um, you know, the, the kinds of games that, uh, that are successful with the audience that we're trying to reach, uh, Unreal's got a great track record. I mean, you just look at the the, the roster of games that, yeah. that that use Unreal. It's, it's stuff like Gears of War. It's stuff like you know Bioshock and Mass Effect. And the list is, is very long. Infinity Blade, you know, obviously a great example. And uh, it, you don't get a, a similar list like that with other with other engines. And uh, the notion of uh, of us building our own engine is, is an interesting question. But we really wanted to get a game out soon. Um, so uh, we prefer to spend our time innovating on things like controls and, and the content, the story, and all of that, than uh, than investing years in uh, in writing the code for the engine. So, in hindsight, very simple. At the time, we were trying to figure all that out. Uh, a lot of questions we tried to answer, but that's why. <laughs>